Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shakia, for those of you who don't know, and I'm back today with another video. So thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed. Um, I made the announcement last week that I reached 100 subscribers on YouTube. So today I'm gonna um, answer the top 10 questions that I get most frequently from you all, my subscribers. Um, but before we get started again, I just want to say thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I'll leave my contact information, like my social medias and stuff, um, in the description box because that is how a lot of you ask me your questions. So let's get to it. All right. So it says, um, I want to be a doula, but I don't know where to start. Can you help? I get this question a lot. I want to be a doula. I don't know where to start. Um, so what I would refer you back to is my very first video about the first steps of becoming a doula. There it'll talk about choosing your niche, um, what kind of work you want to do, what's your population, what type of doula you want to do, who you're, um, who you're targeting, the startup costs, all of that. I'll put the, um, the link to that video inside of the description box as well. But if you don't know where to start, I would say go to that video. And then if you have further questions, then send me direct questions on what it is that you have. But for the general steps, you'll get that from the first video. So the second question, which doula program did you train with? I trained with Dona International back in 2016. I did the three-day course. So the first day was um, the childbirth um, education component. And then the last two days were... Um, the actual doula training um and then soon i'll be training with mama glow how much did it cost you everything together so everything together for my startup cost for suckle i would say about eight hundred dollars um this doesn't include like registering for an llc but this does include the actual workshop um the the materials needed such as like all the books um my beginner doula bag like buying the contents to put in my doula bag for my clients um things of that nature i would say about eight hundred dollars but the very first step is to attend the workshop and for that workshop you'll need to go on donor.com and see um a workshop in your area and how much your workshop is because the workshops vary depending on who's teaching the workshop so go on donor's website to see how much a workshop will cost you for me the workshop was 475 alone so that's just how it happened. Um, and then you also want to factor in that the certification packet is sixty dollars, but you have to buy, you have to get the purchase the workshop and attend the workshop before you can even um, purchase the certification packet. And you need the certification packet before your birth start counting towards Dona. Any birth that you have before you do the certification packet does not work for Dona. Um, number four, I often hear you say Dona didn't care, um, cater to the population you want to focus on. What do you mean? So, I focus on um, low to middle class um, people and I don't feel like Dona set me up for that. Um, I focus on African Americans and with the health disparities that African American women face, I don't feel like Dona set me up for that. So that's why I want to go to Mama Glow. And I want to train with Mama Glow as well because Mama Glow, um, her, the founder is an African-American woman and that's her target population as well. And I feel like I will be able to better address the health disparities um, pregnant women face, pregnant African-American women face. So that's what I mean when I say that Donna didn't cater to my population. My population, my target population are African-American women ages 18 to 30. I get, so I know, I get a lot of questions about why I chose that target population. So here in the um, African American maternal health field, you hear a lot of people saying that education is the sole reason that our um, mortality rates are the reason that they are. And I disagree with that. Um, so dealing with an 18 year old, I'm kind of catching her at her first pregnancy so that she knows what to expect and she has a good outcome. And then I also work with people who have um, negative outcomes the first time or negative experiences and they're kind of looking to get that turned around a little bit um, and have a positive experience or a more positive birth experience. But I've realized that a lot of the, the um, late 20s, early 30s that come to me, those people have educations. Those people have 
a lot of them have master's degrees and a few of them are either in a PhD program or have a PhD. So education isn't the problem. Um, so yeah, that's what I mean when I say Dona didn't cater to my population. Dona was just kind of like general and it didn't go into the health disparities or the issues that African American women are facing. Um, number five, is being a doula something you do part-time? Do you have another job to supplement your income? So the answer to that question is absolutely. So um, I work full-time as a nurse aide and I work um, at night, I work third shift. So during the day I'm sleeping, I'm working on my stuff and then at night I use those hours to just strictly work on business stuff at work because I don't do anything else. Um, so yes, but my goal is to get to a point where I am exclusively just taking clients. So the way that it's set up for me, and like I said, I've been doing this since 2016. I have months that are very, very well. I'm getting three clients a month, which is like my ultimate goal anyway. But I have another few months that I won't have any clients. Or I'll have one client and then it'll be hit or, hit or miss. Um, so until I can get to a point where I'm consistently bringing in clients regularly, then yes, I do prefer to have a full-time job so that I can supplement the income that I need to survive and live the type of lifestyle that I like to live. Um, number six, did Donut International take you through the process of certification or just training? So after you complete the workshop, then you're considered a donor tra training. Um, and what that means is that you've obviously been trained through Dona. So the next step is to start the certification packet. And that's the, pa the $60 packet I was speaking about earlier. You'll purchase that packet and then you will begin your certification process. Um, the certification process is extensive. Um, so you kind of want to look that up and see what that looks like. And I hear a lot of you guys saying that you're giving yourself like a few months to get it done. Um, I'm not trying to be funny, but honestly, when I went through the training, she said, give yourself a year. Um, I would say at the very least, give yourself six to seven months. And that is for somebody who is actively already in the maternal and child health field and has connections to get them births because you, it's very hard to get your first birth. Um, it's very, very challenging. So if you're interested in becoming a doula, I will start networking with people in the maternal and child health field so that when you become trained, you can go ahead and either shadow them um, to see what that really looks like or you can have connections so that people can make referrals for you. Um, so yes, that's the training and then you go through the certification process. And I am currently in the certification process. So when I finished the training, I said in a previous video, I didn't feel comfortable taking clients right away um, until I was able to like practice my skills and really get to like where I was trying to go and feel like I was confident in doing my skills and charging for my skills. So once I got there, I did that for a while and I just started the cert. I just purchased the certification packet in May. So I'm waiting on one more birth, one more qualifying birth, and then I'll be able to submit my packet. So I waited two years before um, I even purchased the certification packet. Okay, number seven, what program do you recommend for certification and what is the start and pay as a doula? So um, back to that very first video, the first steps of becoming a doula, I would say reference that video. I can't tell you what program I would recommend because it really depends on what type of person you're trying to reach and what type of person you're trying to help. Um, also, another big thing is to think about the problem in your community and how you as a doula can fix that problem as it relates to... Um, whether you're doing postpartum or you're doing childbirth doula. Um, if you're a childbirth doula, think about um, the labor and delivery experience in your local hospitals or your local birth and centers, or even if um, your state allows for home birth. Think about that. If you're postpartum, think about the challenges people face after they have just delivered a baby and think about how you're able to help them as a postpartum. And then from there, you should be able to pick a program that matches your vision um, and someone that you can see yourself living through their values in, in a way, like in a sense. Um, but as I said, I worked with um, Dona, I went through Dona, and now I'm going through Mama Glow so that um, I could, you know, work more or feel more confident in my target population and addressing some of the disparities that I see out. 
Um, also, the starting pay is dependent upon you. You determine your prices as a doula unless you work for an agency or a collective. I don't work with an agency or a collective. Circle is my own. So everything that comes in the circle is me. Um, I dish out the prices for Circle. I pay for all the materials for Circle. Circle is registered LLC under me. Um, so I determine the prices for Circle. And my prices just vary. When I first started, I started off at 300. And like I said, this is months after taking the workshop because I didn't feel confident. And when I finally did feel confident, confident I started out as 300. And then my prices just continue to go up and now I'll be offering um, different packages to fit different people's needs because that's just all of a part all a part of the process um, but if you work for yourself and you decide to go in by yourself um, you decide your pay I know some doulas who start off and after the training and they while they're in their certification process and they don't charge anything at all um, I personally don't recommend it because it's exhausting and births can take a very long time and I don't recommend you working for free. Um, even if it's $50 or $100, honestly, I think after your first birth, you'll probably be like, eh, I need to go up a little bit. But I mean, that's totally up to you, but you decide that. Number eight, how quick did you complete the workshop? So I attended the three-day workshop, like I said before. The first day was just childbirth education. Um, and then the second two days were the actual doula um, training. So a part of your certification requirement is that you attend a childbirth um, education workshop that has to be at least 12 hours. And um, you can't go while pregnant. You have to go without um, while you're not bearing child. And so um, the way my workshop was set up is we were able to get all of that included in the, for, in the $475. So um, that's the reason that I did that particular one. Um, Number nine, how long did it take for you to become certified? So like I said, I'm still in the process of certifying now. Um, I started in May and I have already had two qualifying births. And I will hopefully be able to submit my packet by the beginning of next year. Because I still have more readings to do and I still have more like the essays and um, like some of like the actual work that you have to like turn in, that stuff I still have to do. So I'm hopefully by the end of January, I'll be able to submit my packet. Actually by the end of January, I'm gonna be able to submit my, pro my packet. Number 10, this question right here y'all, what is your degree in and do you need a, a degree to be a doula? Okay, so if I'm just being honest, my degree is in public health education. I graduated from North Carolina Central University. Um, to be a doula, do you need a degree? No, you don't. You can pick whatever workshop you want to do. If your state requires that you do like an actual certification through the state, then you would do that. If your country allows it, because some countries their insurance pays and so the process is a little bit more um, extensive, you would have to go through that. But do you need a degree to be a doula? Absolutely not. Do I feel my degree was worth it with me being a doula? Absolutely. Um, a lot of, I just feel like public health is my foundation. Like that's my, like literally that's, that's it for me is public health. So everything I do, I build off of public health, whether it's um, me doing the research, me going out into the community and assessing the needs, me conducting evaluations, all that stuff is the foundation of public health. All of those are the seven roles and responsibility of a health educator. So yes, the degree was totally worth it for me. Do I use my degree as a doula? Absolutely. Um, even planning a program, that's, a, that's one of the roles and responsibilities of a health educator. Um, all of that stuff. So I wouldn't say I want to be a doula, don't go to school. I would see where you want to be at long term and decide whether or not getting a degree right now is best for you. When I started undergrad, I didn't know about being a doula. Um, but now I'm really glad that I still continue with school and I graduated with school. And like I said, now I'm doing well um, with public health. And also I meet a lot of health educators. And I don't know why, but I get a lot of questions about that also. 
Because I'm a health educator does not mean I work at the health department automatically. I don't work at the health department. Like, <laughs> that's not it. Um, I speak with people who teach um, childbirth education classes. I work with midwives. Like, all that stuff is, the, is public health as the background, as the foundation. So, yeah. I don't regret it at all. And ultimately, I get to bring awareness to women's health through public health. So... That is my Q&A of the top 10 questions. I feel like I kind of rushed through it, so I hope that you guys got the gist of it. I hope that some of your questions were answered. Like I said before, I'll leave my information in the description box. You guys can always feel free to contact me about questions that you may have, um, individual questions. That is completely fine.